Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. As you saw from the title, this is a message to the wicked, to anyone who, any technically anyone who isn't a Christian is defined as a sinner and evil, but I'm referring to people who actually do bad things. Um, I'm referring to uh, the quote-unquote low lives in society, even the people who would view themselves as evil or wicked, things who do bad things. This is a message for you, specifically. I know right now you probably won't believe anything that I'm saying. In fact, I'm kind of curious as to why you clicked on this channel or this video. Maybe you were just curious. But I want to read Psalm 64 to you. It does have something to say to you. And the message isn't really for you right now. It's for later. So if you hear me through to the end, if you haven't already clicked away, check it out. It's Psalm 64. I'm going to read the whole thing. Hear my voice, O God, in my meditation. Preserve my life from fear of the enemy. Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity, who sharpen their tongue like a sword, and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the blameless. Suddenly they shoot at him and do not fear. They encourage themselves in an evil matter. They talk of laying snares secretly. They say, who will see them? They devise iniquities. We have perfected a shrewd scheme. Both the inward thought and the heart of man are deep. But God shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly they shall be wounded. So he will make them stumble over their own tongue. All who see them shall flee away. All men shall fear and shall declare the work of God. For they shall wisely consider his doing. The righteous shall be glad in the Lord and trust in him. And all the upright in heart shall glory. And if you're still here, if you're still curious, of course you don't believe what I just said. I doubt you believe in God, and if you do believe in Him, you're probably a deist, someone who believes that God may have created things, probably wasn't an accident over here, but God's not really involved in His creation, He doesn't really pay attention, He may not even care. I would like to propose to you, not if, but when your schemes get turned upon you, your plans fail, life goes bad, life goes south, things do not go well. I'd like to propose to you at that time when God shoots you down. Please let the fear of God enter your heart. Please consider wisely your doing. And accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. You've realized you've done things wrong. You realize God is paying attention. At that point, don't just like wallow in self-pity. Don't just realize you're... a you know, oh, I'm a bad person, so I'm doomed. And don't think, well, I didn't do that very well. Let me try to do it a little bit better. Stop. Just realize you've done wrong. Realize that you're not in the right. And repent. Repent. Turn to God. Tell Him you're sorry. Tell Him you believe that Jesus died on the cross for you and that He rose again. If you're willing to believe, it's not too late. If you're willing to turn to Him, it's not too late. Join the people the righteous, who are glad in the Lord, who trust in Him, and that way the upright in heart shall glory. And you can be one of those upright people. Uh, if you're willing to repent and turn to Him, I don't care what it is you've done, whatever, it's not too late. Guys, thank you very much for watching, especially the people to whom I address this video. Thank you for giving me the time of day. And just, I'm, I know you don't believe me now, just keep it in mind for not the if, but when your plans fail. Thank you very much for watching this video. I love you and God bless.